I lied to you, you know, about why I left Orle. I didn't feel like talking about it then, what happened to me. Maybe it will affect us, maybe not, but you should know. I came to Ferelden and the Chantry because I was being hunted in Orle. I was framed, betrayed by someone I thought I knew and could trust. Marjolaine. She was my mentor and friend. She taught me the bardic arts, how to enchant with words and song, to carry myself like a highborn lady, to blend in as a servant. The skills I learned, I used to serve her, my bardmaster, because I loved her and because I enjoyed what I did. You can say it was my fault. There was a man I was sent to kill. I was to bring Marjolaine everything he carried. I don't know who this man was. She gave me a name and a description, and I hunted him down. I found documents on his body, sealed documents. My curiosity got the better of me. Something told me that I needed to know what was in those letters. Marjolaine had been selling all kinds of information about Orle to other countries, Nevara and Antiva among others. It was treason. Some. But I had always assumed Marjolaine only operated within Orle. This was an unhappy surprise for me. My life as Bard taught me that my loyalties should be kept fluid. My concern was not that she was a traitor, but that her life would be in danger if she was caught. Orle has been at war with so many countries, it takes a harsh view of such things, as I later discovered. I should have left well alone, but I didn't. I had to tell Marjolaine I feared for her life. She brushed aside my concern. She admitted her guilt, but said it was in the past. That is why the documents had to be destroyed, she said. I believed her. I kept believing up till the moment they showed me the documents, altered by her hand to make me look the traitor. The Orlesian guards, they captured me, did terrible things to make me confess and reveal my conspirators. It was a traitor's punishment I endured. And at the end of it, all that awaited me was eternity in an unmarked grave. The skills Marjolaine taught me were good for something at least. I broke free when I saw the opportunity. I did not seek Marjolaine out. If she thought I was coming for her, she would have me caught again. I was tempted to confront her. I was furious, betrayed. But what could I do against her? And so I fled to Ferelden, to the Chantry and the Maker. Ferelden protected my person, and the Maker saved my soul. And that is the reason I am here. The real reason. No more lies between us, at least in this. It feels good to have this off my chest. Thank you for listening and understanding. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount.
Is that for me? Really? Wow. I'm... Wow.
If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. Don't kill him. He is no common bandit. None of them were. Their weapons and armor are of fine make, and they are well trained. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Who are you? <laughs> Someone who regrets taking you on. I was told it would be an easy job. Kill the little red-haired girl. Deal with the others as we pleased. Kill the... You came to kill me? <laughs> I don't pay to ask why someone wants someone else dead. I just need to know what to do and where to get my money. Ha! Money. I'll be lucky to get away with my life, it seems. <laughs> Maybe we could work something out. You like the idea? Speak quickly. I've no real quarrel with you. It wasn't me that wanted you dead. But I know how you can find the one who does. Never found out. Got the feeling the man I spoke to was doing someone else's bidding, too. I have some directions written down on how to get to the house. It's in Denrim. Yeah. It's the best I can do. Thank you. Now leave. I never want to see you again. Don't worry. I'll not trouble you no more.
It's Marjolaine. It has to be. Maybe someone saw me. Maybe she's finally found me and wants to finish what she started. Perhaps it's time to settle this score for good. We won? We did? Yay! We I shall do it. As you say. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people travelling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Well, yes. Oh, it's been quite the month. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur at your service. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. 
I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artefact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? The dwarf I brought it from said it activates and controls a golem. So long as you have it in your hand, the golem does what you say. Might be useful, no? I mean, you look like the sort who could use one, yes? The catch? Uh, yeah, I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. <laughs> it's supposed to be down in a village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely? Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our... troubles. <laughs> he said he got it from the man who owned this golem. But, to be honest, I have no idea if it will work. Hence, the low, low price. <laughs> what do you say? Nothing. I just don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I paid too much to simply throw it away. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honleith. I'll mark it here on your map. Just hold up the rod and say Dulafgar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. Maybe you could look up the fellow who owned the golem before. If he's still about, that is. <laughs> Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. Your wish? Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw Dark Spawn on the way in. We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? We saw a blood mage down near the Brazilian forest. We're off to tell the Chantry about him. <laughs> I thought you said. Wait, you're serious? 
Uh, I suppose that's all right. As long as it gets there. Stay safe. Very well.
very well. Looks like, like a golem, doesn't it? An actual golem, and not a statue at all. I wonder how it ended up here, of all places. As you say. It shall be done. ready. Machines ahead.
It is begun. By the Maker, we're saved! You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us? <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful that someone came at all, then. Thank you. But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. The statue outside. Why would... Oh, I think I see. You bought the control rod, didn't you? You came here looking for shale. That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance! My father's name was Wilhelm, mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlay. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower, with so many broken bones she could barely recognize him, and Shale standing over him just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. My mother never talked about it much. I was just a small child when my father died. Look, I know you probably have more important things on your mind, but I really need your help. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid, and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? There are defenses my father put down here to keep strangers out. I knew about the barrier, I, I had the key for that, but the rest of it... Well, we never came down here. Ever. I don't, it's true. I'm terrified that something's happened to her and she's lying in there, injured. I can't leave here until I know for certain. Surely you can understand that. You will? Thank the Maker! My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. say.
Never climbed a tree. Don't cats like to be in trees? Oh look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. It seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. As you say. I like it when Kitty sings to me. As you say. shall be done. Father doesn't like cats, but he never met Kitty. I shall do it. It is begun. Wilhelm locked her up in I shall room. do room. Isn't that awful? It is begun. He is my best friend. Very well. I was thinking about the sun, silly. <laughs> It is begun.
Tell me a story. As you say. Oh, it's a flower. Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. Very well. I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and I pretty. Shall do it. Magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't!
did it! You freed her! Thank you so much! I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. You'll need a phrase to activate, Shale. It's Doolin Hard. I wouldn't want the thing, but it's obvious you can handle yourself just fine. Now we should go, and quickly! Thank you again. We owe you our lives. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Not as much as it would think, there was running and screaming, and then days and days of watching the darkspawn prowl around. I would never have thought there could be something less interesting than the villagers, but there it was. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? Perhaps I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. It will be fun. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... broken? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means... I have free will, yes? It is... Simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me?
I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Yes, very likely. I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? Did I? I remember that I had a former master. The mage with the furry brows who poked and prodded and barked orders. Did I kill him? I hope I did kill him. Perhaps the last order he barked was, Gollum, stop crushing my head. Ah! Yes, I'm just funny that way. I have no idea. How does it trust anything else without a control rod? Fair enough. Then I promise not to sit on it accidentally or without sufficient provocation. Good enough? Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. This should be interesting. Ready. 